Welcome back, this is the Jack. We got Block Fort V2 Gunslinger Hell on Earth. Just finished recording the Death's Gambit Yamajack tries for today. And uh, that game is so good. I had so much fun recording that. I uh, I just... I, I, I want to keep playing it, you know? That's a, that's a good feeling to have, honestly, because... Um, it's, uh, I mean, I think it makes the videos enjoyable when I'm, like, really, really enjoying a game like that, and, uh, I mean, it makes it more fun to record, for sure, when I, uh, when I actually enjoy a game. Because, uh, there's a lot of Yamajack tries where I, I don't so much enjoy them. Like, they're fine, but not, not quite my cup of tea, you know? And then, uh, every now and then you get a total just banger, like, uh, like Death's Gambit or Synthetic Legion Rising or, um... Couple of others, can't remember them though. I don't know, we've done like 30 or something like that. No, like 20. Yeah, 20 or something like that. Somewhere, somewhere around there. Uh, Yamachek tries at this point. That's 20 different games that I've I've recorded, and believe you me, there have been others that I've tried to record, and that just for for one reason or another I I couldn't. Like um, the the videos just like I couldn't capture it or or whatever. So. It's, it's been a lot of games that I've tried. For sure. Our fridge is, uh, is functional now, so it's, uh, it's working fine, which is, which is good. Hopefully it stays that way and we don't have to get a new one, because fridges are not very cheap, you know? They're not very cheap. So uh, if we can avoid having to buy a new one, then that's of course a, uh, a positive. Not that I'd be the one paying for it anyway, but it's definitely a positive. If, uh, if we don't have to buy one. You need medical attention. I need medical attention. Mm. Back in the game. Have you checked your ammo? Have I checked my ammo? No, I don't need ammunitions. I don't need them. I need them not. I haven't been having many dreams lately. I mean, I've been staying up way too late watching Umbrella Academy, so that's probably why. Um... But honestly, the Umbrella Academy is uh, is getting out of hand. It's getting a little bit. Uh, it's getting to be a bit of an addiction, a bit of a uh, an unhealthy addiction, I think. Thankfully, I'm kind of like I'm not. I'm not going to stop the addiction. Like I can recognize it as being a uh, as being a problem in my life. But I uh, I I just I I the show is so good that I I really don't want to stop. Um, and that's that's why it's an unhealthy addiction, right? That that's that's what it is. It's like I can't stop. Uh, but I had uh, the last two days, the the KF2 episodes at uh, the 8 p.m. time slot were late, and uh, the last two days I almost forgot to to set up the uh, the 8 a.m. time slot KF2. Um, so that's like already kind of getting to be a problem. We're already you know, having some issues there. The uh, the Amajack tries for yesterday just wasn't even there. And then the Amajack tries for today is, is probably going to be late. It's uploading right now, but it's like quarter after 12, and it was a long <laughs> Yamajack tries, which means that, um, you know, it, it ended up getting uploaded starting later because I just, I was recording longer, and then it's going to take longer because the, uh, the video is, is just a gigantic file. Like, it's seven gigabytes large or something for that uh, for that Yamachak tries it's a very pretty game so lots of, uh, of details and stuff to uh, to well like upload because <laughs> I recorded them you know I like to upload it in as high quality as I can so uh, that YouTube's compression can do the best job it can hopefully you guys get the uh, the best possible um, quality at the end uh, yeah, I'm thinking I might start recording in 4K just to, uh, so you guys have that option as well. Um, I don't have a 4K monitor, but I can probably still run most games in 4K. Uh, 4K 60fps. I can probably still run that even if my monitor is not 4K. Um, or I can just upscale it to 4K. Uh, just so that there's higher bitrate, which is, is really the big problem for, for YouTube, so... I mean, right now YouTube's also kind of uh, like locking everything down to 720 or even 480 at times, just because of the whole COVID stuff and more people watching YouTube. Up. Go kill 
for the most part, I feel like most people don't even notice. And so it's, it's fine, but uh, it is definitely frustrating. You know, actually, on the, the topic of YouTube things being frustrating. So YouTube's new, like, advertisement thing, right? Like, their whole new eight minutes is the uh, the limit for, for having mid-rolls or whatever. For getting that one extra ad in. Um, it's so annoying. Because uh, YouTube is forcing that on creators, too. You can opt out of it if you want, I believe. I don't have the options for like monetization yet because I'm not at that point yet. Um, but I believe that you can opt out of having mid-rolls. I'm like, you can disable them on your videos. But unless you go and specifically do that, I believe YouTube will just like algorithmically add in the mid-rolls to your videos. <laughs> and uh, like, so if you don't know how to, uh, to remove them, which I mean, I don't even know if they are on my videos. I haven't had people complaining about them, so I'm guessing not. Um, I highly recommend you use Adblock, and I always will. Even if I am making money on YouTube, people should be using Adblock. Um, and then just pay for whatever you watch and stuff. Like, if your favorite creators have merch or whatever, just buy that instead. And, uh, you know, get your subscribes to things and whatnot, and pay pay that way. Because that's going to be so much more impactful than, uh, than you would be using ads, and then you're not going to be at the risk of having advertisements be visible on your computer because a lot of zero-day attacks and stuff come through them so ad block is definitely a uh, is an, an important thing to have just uh, make sure you still support your, your favorite creators not that you have any way to support me so use ad block all you want because it only hurts YouTube on uh, my channel anyway but uh, it's so annoying it's so annoying to, to see like a 12 minute video or something and then uh, there's there's two mid rolls right so like Two minutes into the video, you get a mid-roll, and then like three or four minutes later, you get another mid-roll, and each of them is, you know, two ads, and, and they're unskippable, so you have to sit there for a minute and watch two ads, and uh, it's it's just, it, it's it's the most annoying stuff I've ever seen. I'm like, look, maybe, maybe you get more money per viewer that actually watches this stuff, right? Like, obviously, the more ads you give, the more money you make, right? Like, that's, that's... That's very straightforward, right? There's no question there. You show more ads to people, you get more money. The problem is, I'm not going to watch your dang video if it's full of ads. So you're not even getting my view, you're getting fewer views. So, like, at the end of the day, is it really worth it? I feel like it's probably not, right? But so YouTube's algorithm says it is, and they'll, they'll slap it on your video if you don't opt out. It's so annoying to see, though. And, like, the YouTubers that I watch, I'm like... They probably don't want it, right? I'm get I'm guessing that they didn't, you know, intentionally do this because, you know, they 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 seem to be doing pretty dang well for themselves before they they added the mid roll. So it was probably YouTube's algorithm going in and doing it, and they're probably not even aware that it happens because who watches your own videos on YouTube, right? Like you might, I watch my own videos, but I don't watch them on the same page that you do, right? So. I mean, it's just, uh, it's frustrating. I, I, I feel bad for the creators who are getting duped by YouTube into, like, losing viewers. They're, like, they're, like, losing viewers. Right? Like, some of my favorite creators I don't even get to really watch anymore because I'm just so frustrated with all the ads that are stuck in their videos. And I, I know a couple of the, uh, the people who I watch, they've, uh, they put the, the ads in manually. <laughs> And I'm like, yeah, you're 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 100 percent gone. The other guys, I'm like, I'll uh, I'll I'll let you know what's happening. I'll, I'll leave some comments saying that uh, this is super annoying, and hopefully you uh, fix it. <laughs> and if you don't, well, you know, it was nice watching you for the last like two or three years. But I don't know. On my computer, I have ad block, so it's uh, it's not a problem for me. But I have uh, I have a few YouTubers who I only watch when I'm like sitting on the toilet. You know, and uh, on my phone, and I do not have an ad block for my phone, like the YouTube app. You can get ad block on like Firefox or whatever on your phone, but on the uh, on the actual YouTube app, I don't know. I know that you can get like a, a pie hole or something like that, but that's not going to help uh, in the event of like I don't know if you're on data, which I, I usually am because I just forget to turn off my wife. I forget to turn my bat. Turn my when I go for a drive, 
my uh, my car is within range of my Wi-Fi, but it doesn't get enough of a signal to be useful, so I just turn off the Wi-Fi and uh, use data. Because uh, I have to let my car warm up before I can actually drive. It's like got a carburetor or whatever. I don't know cars, man. But uh, I have to let my car warm up before I can actually go for a drive. Dude! There's another one right behind us, right? Yeah. Um. Really? Really? How many blooming things are there here, eh? Too many. Too many. I don't like it. Um. So I turn off my Wi-Fi when I'm out in my uh, in my car waiting for it to warm up. And then I forget to turn my data back on. So oftentimes, even when I'm at home, I'll be on my data. Because I just I forget to turn it back on. Because, like, honestly, I don't even notice. Because I have unlimited data, and the data is, like, fast enough to be usable. At least where I live. So it's like, eh. Who cares? You know? Come on. Come on. Um, so I don't know, there, there's probably like an app or something, like if I rooted my phone then I could get like, uh, just blocks all ads across the, the entire like phone's network access stuff, you know, probably, but I just, I don't know, I don't know phones that well. I used to be a phone, uh, I used to be a phone salesperson, so I, I should know phones, but I, uh, there's, there's a reason I'm not a phone salesperson anymore, you know, I'll put, I'll put it that way. I never, I never got into phones very much. They just, uh, they, they just don't interest me, you know, I don't, I don't get that, uh, like with computers and, and PC hardware and stuff, I'll get super, uh, super into, like, following the tech news and, and all of this, and just, like, general tech news I like, but, um, like, following, uh, hardware and, and all this stuff, like, I, I am into it, right? But, uh, with, with phones, I'm just, they're all the same, <laughs> they're all, they're, they're all the same, so I just stopped paying attention to them. And then stopped really caring about like jailbreaking iPhones or rooting your Android phones or whatever. I just I don't care. I just don't care. So and the only thing I use my phone for is like reading manga, browsing Reddit, watching YouTube every now and then. Being super frustrated by uh, by the advertisements on YouTube. You know that's all I that's all I do. I don't do anything important. I don't need to. I don't need to customize my home screen. Or I have this uh, this like purple theme that I bought for I don't know a dollar or something like that. That I uh, that I threw on my phone from the uh, the Samsung store, and uh, that's that's good enough for me. That's that that's enough customization for me, right there. And uh, you know I'm probably one of the only people who uh, actually buy Samsung themes, I guess, but. I don't know, like, why not? Somebody, somebody put time into making it. May as well, may as well pay him. I'm, I'm the kind of person who, who, you know, it's like pay as you want. I'm the kind of person who donates, you know. I think it's important to support the people who make the uh, the stuff that uh, that you like. We need you to get stuck back a little bit, okay? You have to fall behind so that I, I can take you out without losing the without losing any health here. Okay? So I really want to take this guy out. That's uh, uh, not going to do it. He's a little bit too close. We want to take this guy out without taking any damage, you know? And I feel like I can do it. I feel like it is possible for me to do it. We just have to wait for this guy to, to kind of fall behind a little bit again, which he hopefully does soon. There we go. No, nope, not gonna do it. I guess we gotta we we gotta take our we gotta wait for our moment here, okay? It's gonna be right here. It's gonna be right here. Nope, didn't quite make it. There we go. Okay, okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. 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 It's gonna be a flawless. I mean, we have like a good map for it too to begin with, so kind of uh, cheating a little bit on that one. But 
but you can't you can't blame me for wanting to to go for the flawless king flesh pound hell and earth victory right can't blame me for it who wouldn't want it <laughs> there we go I've, I've wanted to do that for so long man get dusted king flesh pound you're a joke <laughs> uh, let's go open up well not not open stuff up but um here look here's all the here's all the things look 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 at all that wow uh, let's hop back out we're gonna go to the vault i haven't been to the vault in a while. i have no idea how many points we'll have probably not that many because i don't play it too much but I mean, i've done a few challenges a few dailies we'll see how much we get i'm not i'm not expecting much but Cause it's like five, it's like ten dailies per crate, right? And yeah, it's been a while since I've been here, but yeah, three three crates is about uh, is about what I expected. How many crates do we even have right now? Like a bajillion, right? <laughs> we have a ton of crates, I think. Got a horzine supply crate number thirteen. We got, we got a lot of stuff here, man. We got so many things. Let's go for items. Yeah, we got sixty one plus the three we just got, so like sixty four. Got a lot of crates. We'll open them up someday. We'll open them up someday. Uh, that's going to do it for today, though. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.